through. What is this? I got a six inch stick. Are you hungry? Ready, go get it. Destroy it. Go to the hideout. That's the stash. <laughs> he does that a lot. He'll pee on the stuff that he chews on. I'm like, okay, well, it's yours now. Yeah. All right, see you later. Where's your stick? Where's your stick? Huh? Sit. Brew. Sit. Sit, please. Okay. Thanks for listening. That's why you're unemployed. Um, here's the deal. Why do you, you know, piss on the stuff you're putting in your mouth? Probably not a good business plan. All right. We're out. If he comes back with it right now, I'll be amazed. And there it is. I'm not touching it. Well, why don't you just have a seat? Well, all right then. Problem solved. How's the taste? Must be awesome. That's my boy. Hey man, I would like to give a shout out today. Uh, not so much the fact that it's 9-11, but also because of the fact that, uh, you know, I missed a bunch of days here helping my, my stepbrother, but you know, no big deal. You know, that's what family does. But, well, <laughs> I guess some family would. Uh, you know, clearly as you can see, a lot of the people I talk to doesn't necessarily get a ton of family support. With that being said, I want to thank Doreen, Tyleen, and Loretta. I had some packages that have kind of, I won't say piled up, but were waiting for me. And, uh, you know, Tyleen had sent me an email. She's in Minnesota. She sent me an email saying, hey, uh, did you get my package? And I was kind of worried. It said it was delivered a while ago. And I was like, oh, to be honest, I haven't been to the post office in five or six days. You know, it was over the weekend. And it was I don't even remember the last time before that because it's just. Nonetheless, uh, I just want to say thanks, man. You know, without you guys' help, this isn't possible. Hey, if you get a chance, use that link that's in my description for the Amazon anything that you buy for your for yourself your friends family uh, me if you choose anything you get you know I'll get a small percentage you know it'll help the channel and it doesn't cost you anything you know matter of fact you know your price doesn't change one bit you know it, I'll get 1.7 to 3.2 percent something like that it, it varies on the item not a big deal but whether you're buying shampoo soap a garden hose you know Christmas gifts electronics anything A to Z just click on the link first and uh, it would really help me out but uh, all right man I appreciate your time and uh, sorry it took so long to get functional again but I'm back so Let's get to work. I am tired of waiting on this traffic. I'm just going to come and see you. Boy, do you look nice today. Well, thank you. Where'd you get that trendy headband? Uh, are you favorite? <laughs> <laughs> they were so, nice. Uh, I'm not good with names. Oh, that was from a... Uh... Boy, let me think. That's what I said. It's our favorite names. I believe that was Lori. Lori or, or Dorothy? Dor not on the headbands. Dorothy had sent the gift. Hey, you know that last time I saw you, I gave you that $30? Yes. That was actually, Victoria had sent that? Boy, is it windy out. Yeah, it is. I'm going to get all kinds of wind on my microphone. Three days supposed to rain or something. I'll tell you what. Two or three days. It's coming right at me. Let me let me turn, turn away. That way the wind, I'm blocking the wind. 
Um, but she had said that that was supposed to be, she wanted me to take you to a Goodwill to use that money to buy you some, uh, you know, some early, you know, good price, big selection winter items, you know, jacket, warm clothing and whatnot. And that's why I was asking you about, you know, do yourself, do you see yourself here for another, you know, winter, that type of thing, yeah. you know, etc. cetera. I've been getting up, I got uh, eight blankets. I got me a couple long sleeve clothes. I got some more coming. If I was bringing to me today, uh, fancy shirts, long sleeves. Yeah. Winter, winter pants. And my nephew and him get it up for me. Oh, nice. And How many family members do you actually have still that live in town? Because I know the one. That, that cousins and nephews, well, I have quite a few of them, but they're, they're just. They're just they're on with drippers. their own life. Yeah, they're kind of like drippers. <laughs> yeah, no doubt. But I mean, you know, they just work one place to another place. I got you a cherry Kool Aid. Oh, thank you. And a, uh, you know, of course, a water. Yeah, I, I've been prepared for winter. I got this candle going. I got, you know, about, well, if somebody had left over, I'm going to put around candles, heat, heat candles, like. Well, I'm going to bring, try to get you a, a heating element to use with one of those little propane cans. Because I can get a, a you know a, a big can of propane, a twenty pounder for fifty bucks or twenty five dollars, and I can fill twenty five cans with that, or I'm sorry, twenty cans. And uh, those one pound cans will last you a couple days, yeah. as long as you know. Obviously, the more you use them, the less they're going to be around. But you can also use that to grill and cook on, and you know that type of thing. Yeah. But I, you know, everybody's worried about you know if it's in the tent. And it gets knocked over. You know, some of them have the. I used to put mine in them. Uh, get one of them round, real heavy duty kittles. I got one over. There. It was big round. You set it inside of here. That way, but you know, if you have a spill, it would. Is it like a metal tub? Yeah, well, it's cat like cast car. Oh, okay. And then you put you like a cushion under you. You don't hit. You don't. Know, where you got? Like, one of what do you call them? Um, I got one of my. Uh, well, you step uh, pans on when they're hot. Like a walk. It, no, it's like a play that you, you put your pans on when they're real hot to keep them burning your tablecloth or your table. Or your oh, table. Uh, like a heating pad. Well, it's something like that, but it's, it's, it's the... A pot warmer. Yeah, it just keep your... No, it's not a warmer. It's a, it keeps it from burning your, your table, like making the round spot on your Yeah. Uh, I know what you're talking about. My mom's got a bunch of them. They're like six inch by six inch, seven inch by, yeah, you know. Yeah, they come different. You use them to grab pots out of the oven? Pot holder. Yeah, well, that's the pot holder. Yeah, they got the ones you put underneath that pot, pot bags, whatever you call them. I can't, have, like, I can't think of names and stuff like that. Yeah. No, it's fine. Uh, I got one of them, and I got one of them. That, that's where I even set my candles in, like for burning just candles out. Yeah. Because I don't want it to fall over the tent. Or, you know, even spill, you know, makes the holes in your tent because your tent's already made out. You know, they air a little bit of the heat. Melt it. Oh, for sure. Without a doubt. Hey, would you, uh, um, oh boy, what was I going to ask you? Um, obviously, I'm sure you could use a lunch. Looks like, look at all, look at all this grub here. Or it's all sweets. All right, I've been hungry at this moment. I've been hungry later, but today, but I'm actually kind of full. I'm eating too much chocolate. Yeah. Still a bunch of here, chocolate. Uh, yeah, you're a little, uh, you talk faster than usual, which is a, I thought was impossible. I see you got a phone there in your pocket. Huh? You got a phone there in your pocket. Yeah, it won't charge. I, I found this in the dumpster. It won't charge? No, but I mean, it charges for a little bit, then it quits charging. It charges for a little bit, then it quits charging. It's completely dead down. But see, it comes on, and but when you put the charger in it, it shows that it's charging, and then it quits. Really? And then it, I have a exit the battery oh there's an x on the battery yeah. okay so that means there's something wrong with it maybe it got wet you know because it's yeah, like i said about the dumpster i wonder if that's a deal where you can change this battery because some are no, i tried to get the back off of it well you can you just got to have the right tool there's a certain tool they use you know i don't necessarily have one because i you know i don't yeah, I thought about I wonder if you could be able to trade that in on a different model or something, but then you'd have to subscribe to their service and pay and all that other business. Yeah, that's, I would want free gifts. Okay. Yeah, they're too expensive. They're like Verizon Marvelous and all them. Oh my God. They're as high as Verizon Marvelous, but they're, at Verizon Marvelous, they see it. Your sign. I had a chocolate. Chocolate's running away. Your chocolate's going away. But, uh, 
Well, all right. Well, how are you doing on supplies? I'm doing pretty good. What? Um, uh, uh, lights. I'll, I'll always run down lights, kick them people out. Lights? I mean, you're talking about like. I like that one, like you got Dale with that one band. Oh, the headband? Yeah. You, you need one? From, yeah. All right, I got one. Yeah, because it's bright, and I need something bright. <laughs> okay. I love it. What yeah. Dale had, I said, I'm about ready to whoop Dale, Dale take it from me. I'm going to say, I'm going to take that from you. No, I can touch up. I was kids, I mean, you know, I was playing with uh, whoop me. Dale's a big old boy, he can take care of himself. <laughs> yeah, I don't think he has a problem there. Uh, I call him Quaker Oats <laughs> or the Georgia, Georgia Hulk Hogan. I'm parked right behind this car. You probably, oh, actually, no, I'm not. I I couldn't see because of the tree. You know, you see me. Yeah. If you want to come over, you want a lunch? Yeah. At least, at least have it for later. This is a double thick bologna with, uh, you that know, with good. with I, real I cheese. Steak yeah, like you a steak dinner. That? What's that? Poor man's steak dinner. Homemade, a home, a uh, poor man's steak. Poor man's steak dinner. Yeah. It's like, it's like, well, I, I, I like. That's what my dad used to always say. I got my steak dinner ready, go to work. You know, all right. In fact, it's allowed to be bloody sandwiches. All right, let's get to work. Get big old rolls of bloody that you can't. You know what I'm talking about? Oh yeah, you get the roll. You have the tube. Yeah. 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 I got that. With the red ring on it, when you cut it, you got to pull the ring off. They had that behind that dumpster over there, and uh, Francis could use that, and I know that guy could use that. Other people could use it here. That was, I think. Uh, What's his name? Yeah. Uh, uh. I can't remember his name either. Uh, what are you talking about? Buford. <laughs> In the silver car. Oh, it might have been his. I'm thinking it was that. That, that is his because I I, I see the wheel <coughs> is is wore down to nothing. Uh, yeah. I think it was that guy that had his legs cut off, you know, for that, that surgery. Oh, you're talking about uh, yeah, I, uh Ronald. Yeah, yeah, but it what is it that was it? It was the other guys. I'm not sure. Yeah, I think I think he took all his. He uh no, he didn't have the electric one. That's rusty. All right, let's go. Yeah, he had the electric one the one that didn't have the lights. We had yeah, that was that was uh, that was Ronald. That was the day that that was the day that we thought uh, Mikey had committed suicide, and you come back from the dead. Yeah, Michael you, Thomas. Yeah, yeah. Mikey back then, Michael Thomas. Did. All right. Well, wasn't that under investigation? Yeah, I, I still don't know that they still, they're still under. I don't know if it's still under investigation, or if they come to a final closure, or what. You, you you don't know what's going on in this intersection. I know it. You really don't. You know, it's kind of... No, it's madness. So what's the word on the street? Give me some... Drop some bombs. Give me some knowledge. Well, the, well you know about that shooting. Them four teenage, teenage boys got killed at the park. Uh, yes. And then there was two of the Chasworms got shot and killed. About two, two days after that one. And I do recall the... Uh, that was right in town. Chesworth? Yeah. Yeah. I, I didn't know no, no. Right here. here in Dalton. I heard, I heard a little bit about the one in Chatsworth, but I ain't heard nothing more about his. So I, I haven't heard about anything it. about the one in Chatsworth. I've, I've been able, which I can't get the phone charge, Google it and see if I find out anything about it. Would you like me to bring your phone home and try to see if I can work on it? I'm going to take it up. Or my, uh, my deputy coach, Brent Brady's clothes, we'll get him to take it over and see. Okay. Uh, he works at McDonald's now, night shift. Oh, really? Yeah, he gave a night shift job at McDonald's. Last night was his first job. I mean, first night there, and where he stays up with his baby deer today. And when he got up this morning at six o'clock, he goes, "I'm tired." <laughs> He's young. I'm like, "Yeah, you." you, you You're, yeah. What do you? You know, I helped my my stepbrother move. That's why I was gone all weekend. I didn't get in, out anywhere. And uh, hey. this guy in the car is looking at us like, "Who are they talking about?" We're negotiating a transaction. Yeah, I've been but, uh, depressed a lot this week because. I, I, you know, I got a problem with him talking about the son, and see, he, he been, his old lady, my grandbabies, they moved to Virginia. Yeah, you were saying that. Yeah. And so all you got is like nieces and nephews in town? Yeah, my mom. And your mom? Yeah, I don't mind seeing her over there, but you know, but you, you know, you never miss your much seeing your mom. My mom. Oh, no, you can't get enough of that. And then I, then I just, I've been lost, so lost out here. <laughs> I got you. All right, well, let's get you set up. Moms, I think I do. I mean, like I said, I got a few nephews, and my sister don't care. You know, they one way or another. Same deal. We got a Slim Jim in there, a Pop Tart, right, uh, some snacks. Oh yeah, thank you. We got the you who again for sure. Uh, yeah, my sister's there. Like they look at you like when you come in, like you again. You know, when your family looks at you like that, you know how 
Yeah, that's just got to that's just got to punch in the mouth. You yeah, know, that's got to feel make you feel like shit. Sweep my mom and dad though. See, they they got I got family on my dad's side, family on my mom's side, and I'm I'm the only child between my mom and dad. Yeah. But I got seven sisters and three brothers. But they're all step then. Yeah, half. Half, you know, yeah, stop or you know, my half, had, half my brothers. Had three yeah. kids, my mom had a house with kids, and they, they got to get her married and had me. Holy cow! I see Jay over there. We're not exactly on speaking terms. He don't like me very much. Who's he with? I don't know. The girl was in the bar over retail. Yeah. And it says that. And we go up to We go over up her if she wants water or something. Nah, no, good. Must be his street girlfriend. No, she sits for her baby. I mean, everybody goes to talk to her, tries to figure out, you know, what her needs are. But she, huh? So she's getting help, but not necessarily accepting. And I even seen her turn down people. Like I seen some places up there. Like, I don't know if they offered her food or money, and she just shook her head down. Huh? All right, let me get you that headlamp. Yeah. But check this I, I out. My favorite place is just not names. This is the exact same one that Dale got uh, because uh, he had the bike. Yeah. And uh, but that's super bright. Um, yeah, I had the bike give to me out here, but it was so tall I couldn't ride this thing. Oh, really? Couldn't reach the, the pedals? No, and you couldn't put the seat down. It was the way it was made. It was a uh, uh, diamond back. You ever see them? The, the oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I like, Lord, I got to get killed. You might have had a 29 inch. Something like that. Yeah. The 26 are pretty, you know, adult size. The but 29, you know I mean, though. I, you know I didn't give it away. I, I sold it for $15. <laughs> but it was a giveaway still, but I mean, because it was right. a nice bike. Right. But it was given to me, and I sold it. I'm like, well, if you can't use it, you know, why hold on to it before it gets stolen? I feel guilty about it. No, I'm like, it was given to me. I should have just given it to that person because that person, you know, pretty hard yeah. to Well, sometimes you just got to. He gotta... was tall, though. It was a price. I don't know if you know him. Uh, not, the, not the short one. There's a tall one out here. He's a Bryson last name, and he's real tall. And he fit on that bicycle perfect. <laughs> I was gonna say, uh, yeah, the, the, you know, that's why they got them, you know, all these different sizes for different ages and whatnot. Oh, so where are you at? Oh, he's he's around. No, uh, that one guy. I can't think of his name. It's, you remember his old lady used to be pink? You know, they had the short hair. You know, she had cancer. She used to draw. Had the picture upside down draw. Oh boy, I'd have to. I'd have to look back. It's not ringing a bell, to be honest. Pink, I said her old man walked another way with. Yeah. He, I'll tell you what, let me give you a. He's usually a pretty good fella. He always tries to help people. And he can, like if he's got extra food, he's got to give you extra food. I'm going to give you an additional flashlight from the same guy. Mark had sent me a bunch of these. Now, this has got the hand crank on the side. You know, you remember. I got, I got the hand crank with Yeah. I got a, uh, You've been using one. it? Yeah. Okay. So it, it, you. It, 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 they hard to crank up though. It takes forever. You ever go completely yeah. down? They take forever to crank them up. All right. Yeah, so I got one of them. All right. I don't want to take an extra one. I, I'd be working out with both hands. <laughs> All right. How you doing on smokes? Uh, smokes is uh, random every day, so we have to yeah. use cigarettes. Well, here you go. Oh, Darlene sent these from Texas. These are the cigar style, but they're they're actually not bad. Yeah. Um, Here's two packs. You give me one and Lavada one that one day. She ended up giving me hers because she said I can't smoke them. <laughs> yeah. They're not bad. I, I I cut the fill. I you know I tried one. I, I cut the filter. Yeah. You know about a you know I don't, three eighths of an inch. Bar, if you want a cigarette, you want a cigarette. Here's a lighter. Oh, thank you. Yeah. yeah if you want a cigarette, you beggars ain't choosing. I got gotcha. you. I reckon Lavada's supposed to be, you know, the, the short blonde headed girl. She got her settlement, but it went pretty fast. But she's working at Shaw's now, I reckon. Did you say she got uh, in a physical altercation with somebody? Her daughter. Wow. And then Carl, she put Carl in jail. Maybe Carl's still in jail. That's what it was. It was with Carl. Yeah. Yeah. But I don't know that Ordell. If so, you know, he hit her, yeah. I guess he deserved it because the man said right. hit a woman. But well, I, don't know the, I don't know the story. So I can't say anything uh, you, no, I don't blame you. You know, I learned the hard way myself on that one. Yeah, I keep my nose where it blows. Yeah. If you don't know, don't talk. Yeah. <laughs> That's the reason I said I'll race that one because, you know, I don't know the situation. don't know yeah. the story. I don't know Carl's story and I don't know her story. You end up getting yourself in trouble for something that you didn't even think you were doing. Yeah. You know, it's like when you're in high school or something, you talk about she someone else's. Him, she tried to drop the charges and, and the state already took it up because that's the... Uh, yeah. What, they have zero tolerance here in Georgia or something like that. Tennessee and Georgia's got that. Well, what it really it's boils down to is more money. 
That's why the state picks up the charges. Yeah. yeah. The more probation yeah, well, fees. They, they will tell you that part, though. You know. <laughs> yeah. More counseling fees. More anger management. More. Uh, uh, yeah, Brittany, you know, some jail time. Brittany's back out though. Probation. She, she does. All right. Maybe she'll stay out. You want to? You want to do your fortune cookie? I'll hold on to your stuff. I got it. Oh, well, that's a good, good idea. <laughs> most yeah. I tested. Or, not even most I tested. Most I tested do two or three days at once. Wow. All right. Maybe I got to put on my glasses. You will see me the person you admit? Admire. Admire. All right. You will soon see. Uh, you will soon meet the person you admire. Well, I'm glad I'm here. <laughs> no. I was thinking to myself, Jesus Christ. I'm going to soon meet Jesus Christ. Well, here I'll, I'll let you have that's that. Not, that's the only person I really admire. If you want to throw it in your bag. Well, you well, never know. I got to meet him too. Well, today's 9/11. <laughs> yeah. I want to meet him today, then. <laughs> it's like. Uh, you know, pretty sad day in our history, yeah, obviously. Yeah. I wonder what that, if that truck part of no, that's just about that. Yeah, all these trucks are doing, they're doing out asphalt I the flag and on, electrical I work. I don't know. They seem to own the parking lot. Yeah, how long yeah. has it been? 20 something years now, isn't it? 20, 23, 22? Uh, I think it's 23. I think it was night, or uh, 01. I think yeah, see, it was 01. My daughter 34 and she was, I think about 10 or 11, 12, something like that. It's been, it's been a while. It was devastating. People were pulling the kids out of school and, you know, here we go, you know, five planes get hijacked. And you know, my daughter, she was going in the bed screaming. Because everybody was, they showed it, it was on news. Yeah. Every, every you, 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 was there. Yeah, every, every channel. Yeah. And my daughter, see the people, body, you know, you know, some had, videos had the bodies coming out of the windows. Jumping out. out the window, yeah, they're on fire. You know, their floors on flight, you know, fire, and they can't get to the elevator or, or to the stairwell. Could you imagine? I could, no, I couldn't. I wouldn't want to imagine what they went through. No, it's it's it's. Uh, I know what we went through just by witnessing it. Yeah. Oh I my God. I can imagine what they went through living in it. And then the people. And then the ones that survived, you know, they got it for drama the rest of their life. You know, they, they were right there in it too. Well, and then you know the the people. You know, within many blocks of the of the you know World Trade Centers were covered with ash. You know, they were all gray. You know, yeah. ashes everywhere, all over the ground. You know, from all but the concrete. They, they, we couldn't imagine what they were building. That, I mean, you, we know what we built, and that's just a minor, major setback to what they built. When I saw it, I threw up. I did. Yeah, when the, she, that was when the first plane hit. I tried to hold my daughter. She was screaming and crying, screaming and crying. I kept trying to hide her face from watching the TV. How old was she then? She was about 10. Wow. 10, no, she was about 11, I think. 11 year old, something like that. That's what he does. Because she would have been, she would have been 34 and she still lived. And uh, so that had to be about 23 years ago. Look at, she was about 11 or 12 year old. Son of a biscuit. That's, uh, boy, Anetta, you have, you've been dealt some cards. Well, I still owe you a shopping spree of some type. Um, I'll tell you what, I had bought a, here's a, here's a, let's start with this. Um, well, she wanted me to take you to Goodwill, and I don't want to disappoint her. Or, you know, I guess Salvation Army or anything, you know, just to get some odds and ends. Yeah. You know, we could schedule a time, you know, if, you know, just to, you know, make it happen. Yeah. Would that be okay? Yeah. Okay. All right. Well, when's best for you? Like, weekends or... Uh, one of your updates or something. Yeah. All right. I'll tell you what. Well, today's Wednesday. Why don't we shoot for Friday or Saturday? Yeah. Okay. What's the best times that you're here? Would you say, you know, after 10 a.m.? I, I, I sit up here for a while and I go back to 10. Because uh. uh, I've been working, building the tent up. I got it set up. I got things all around it now, like Barricade did. I got a big umbrella going up to crank that cage up. Oh. I got it well, up there. And it, the, the crate works, I just didn't have the table, but I made a, we found a, we got a five-gallon bucket that had the cement poured in it. And somebody had a tree to stuck in the center of it, like a round tree. Oh, okay. really? I stuck it, stuck it in. I said, they all do look neat. Pretty cool, like I said, I've got flowers all around it. 
<laughs> so you, your, but... your duck are eating your apartment for you know well, they, higher they, rental they, fees. It's outside, and you can have. I need to be a net, like a net to go around it. Uh, and uh, what's the supposed oh, to Oh, speaking of which, uh, you're talking like a mosquito net. Yeah. All right, hold on. I got some bug stuff. Dale was telling me he was getting. Dale was telling me he was getting chewed up out there. I got a can of them on that tent. They don't bar me up here since I've I got a can. Oh, you've got a can of. Can. Yeah. Okay. All right. It's 40%, but it still works. Yeah. Well, all right. Yeah, it works. I, I, I just sit there playing more with them. Well, I ain't looking for them. You got some of it. If somebody don't use it all up, we'll get back. <laughs> yeah, no doubt. No doubt. Or whether it's even there in the first place. Yeah, it is there. We was there when I come out. Yeah. Well, all right. I, got I see you keep out. eyeballing your stuff because there's been a few people that have been yeah. walking around. All right. Well. All right. Give me the give me the knuckle bust. All right. All right. I'll see Thank you. Thank you, buddy. And yeah. uh, God bless everybody. Yeah, that's Victoria. I owe her one. I had I given you. Day was down at eleven. I'm glad you told me though. Well, it's just it struck me as odd too. The the presidential debate was on last night. And it was like, well, that's, it's kind of weird because it's the night before 9-11 and it just seemed, uh, it was just strange to me. I, I was up to see who it was, it's Andrew up there. He was trying to get him some cans to get it up. He got it up cans. Yeah. Yeah, I seen him digging in the grass there. All right. Yeah, he goes cans hunting all the time. He'll come down by our tent and walk all the way around looking for cans. He comes around over to this way looking for cans. And I'll he's, tell you he's what. cleaning up the neighborhood with cans. He don't use that neighborhood clean. Yeah, no doubt. Because... How about I come by, you know, Friday around 10 or, you know, 10 to 11, somewhere in there? Uh, you yeah, think you'll I'm, be here then? Yeah, I can make it forward to be down here. But, uh, All right. Then we'll go We'll go up to Goodwill or Salvation Army and get you some, you know, winter gear. You know, whatever we can find out. The week because it's coming. Goodwill. What's that? We don't have a Goodwill. Yeah, we do. Yeah, it's a new one. Oh, that one in Cleveland Highway. Yep. Um, she even gave me the address, and I was like, what? You know. Uh, yeah, I forgot about that one on Cleveland Highway. Yeah, but uh, they're more they're more pricey, but they might have a better selection. I guess uh, we'll yeah. find out. So. All right. Look at all, just look Be ready to roll. Yeah. All right. I know one thing I got inside mine boots. <laughs> These boots are made for walking. You gotta have your winter boots. And These boots are made for walking, <laughs> and that's just what I'm gonna do. All right. What's your profound statement for the world today? Uh, God bless everybody and. Salute to all the ones that died in 9 11. I mean, you know, yeah, people, boy, you know, how amazing. You've been still, them, but you know, you know, you remember them. them. Yeah. More so them. I can't. Even. No, just, I no, was that's. Before, I mean, the other way I said it, that was like an army thing, you know, they, they, they went in yeah. through. Which, I know what you meant. They were working though, but still. Yeah. It's yeah. more of a just honoring their memory. Yeah. yeah. You still reading that Bible? Yeah. Good deal. Got it. So, oh, good. So that wouldn't get stolen. Oh, would that bother me? Jesse, Lori's sister, told me, she said, that there's a leather Bible, it's got the index, and somebody's got it stuck up the tree down through here, like stuck wedged in that tree. And she I, I said, about the Bible, and she said, well, who in the world would take your Bible and do that? You know, wedged, she said they've got it wedged way up high in between the tree. Well, I would just find a stick and poke it out. Well, I, if I hadn't found it yet, I better get, I gotta get back on the her so she can tell me which one. Oh, it was depending that. on how long it's been there, it's been rained yeah, on. She and, said it. Yeah. She said she, she happened to see it at first. She said she was back there. She said she stood up. What is that up there? That tree. She said it was a Bible, and it had. Uh, it looked about like what I was describing. She said it, it's pretty bad. So what she thought might be your Bible stuck up inside, yeah, up, up in a one, tree. That, yeah, that first one I had. You know, the one that, yeah. When I first moved in, it got gone. Because I had done that tape when it disappeared. Oh my god. So I was, well, I said, she said, somebody done that for disobedience. All right. Well, God bless you, another. All right, we'll hook up Friday. All right, we'll see you Friday. Yeah, Bye, we'll, everybody. Yep, yeah, we'll make it happen. <laughs> All right. Uh, yeah, go ahead and keep an eye on your stuff because we know how yeah. quickly that can change. Yeah, I know. That's what it is. You got here for one second, turn your head just go. Yeah, yeah, all you got to do is turn your head. Yeah. You know. You, you, you never know how many eyes are on you. All right, I'll see you. It's just the rules of the street. Turn your back or don't look back. 
you might not have your goods sad to say but that's the reality they live in well i guess that's what we all live in you don't dare use the restroom at a fast food place or a restaurant and leave your phone on the table you might not see it when you get back you might just go to wash your hands go on oh what cracks me up about stealing phones is that they're pretty useless yeah it's just trade it's trade equity for somebody all right let's see what else we can find out today guys